money. Money stresses us all out. We worry about paying bills. We worry about retirement. Just because I said the word money, your cortisol levels might have spiked up. But in the world economy, we here are actually the big, big winners. We have bank accounts. We can get loans. We have direct deposit for our paychecks. And some of us here probably even have Bitcoin. We are so well served that we have magical internet money. <laughs> but imagine what it's like if you're poor. This is a savings account. In Nicaragua and in many other countries in the world, if you don't have access to a bank account, you save in livestock. But it's not safe or efficient. Your pig can get sick and die. It can run away. And if you need $5 for medicine for your child, how do you withdraw $5 from a pig? Without a bank account, there is no free PayPal, there's no free Venmo, and if you live on less than $2 a day, a single 50 cent transaction fee is 25% of your daily income. The simple truth is, it's expensive to be poor. So you may think that money zips around the internet as quickly as email, but it doesn't. Email is free, and financial services like wire transfers, they're not. And it's because of the architecture of our financial system. Financial institutions and payment systems are actually separate fortresses. And most of them don't connect directly because there aren't a lot of roads. So if you need to send $25 from New York to Nairobi, you have to pass through several systems paying tolls along the way, and maybe $5 makes it to the other side. So the gaps between these systems are so wide and the fees are so high that it makes it difficult it actually probably makes it impossible for billions of people to have a fair shot. To solve these problems, though, why couldn't we just connect the systems and make it easier for them to talk directly? And then from there, we could make it easier for communities to have access, reducing inequality. In today's world, everybody should have the ability to send and receive money instantly and affordably, and have a safe place to save. So my nonprofit team, we set out to accomplish just that. So out of years of research came Stellar, an open source financial network designed by Professor David Mazieris, the head of Stanford University's Secure Computing Group. Stellar is a decentralized database that helps people, actually helps everyone, not just us, but everyone, connect to the world's global economy while also ensuring the integrity of financial transactions. So, as I said, Stellar can be used by anyone, banks, microfinance institutions, businesses, startups, even hospitals. And it's this kind of openness that creates millions of new on-ramps to the financial system that didn't exist before, spreading access where there is none. And because of this diversity, it has to support any kind of asset. So in Stellar, you can use any kind of currency, dollars, euros, pesos, any asset like mobile minutes, loyalty points, even, even Bitcoin. The network is live. It is focusing right now on, we're focusing on connecting communities across Africa and Southeast Asia. And in one of our pilots, we conducted over 6 million transactions. So if we had taken those 6 million transactions and used wire transfers, it would have resulted in $150 million in fees. That's a lot of money. If we had used M-Pesa, the PayPal of Kenya, it would have cost roughly $2 million, which is a great savings, but really still not enough. On Stellar, those same 6 million transactions cost 20 cents total. <laughs> and those savings are made possible because the Stellar network can be used from end to end, regardless of if you are in New York or Nairobi, and that reduces these gaps and reduces friction, which is, which is good for everyone, regardless of if you are rich or if you're poor. And its openness allows people to connect to services where it was really difficult before, like enabling families to pay for solar electricity an hour at a time so their kids can finish homework at night. Or 
helping a health organization send 20 cents in bus fare to pregnant mothers so they can get to the clinic and have healthier babies. So the reality is, is these kinds of services, they can be built today, but at high cost and with very limited local reach. The trick is having the infrastructure to do this in every single country in the world at the same time, and Stellar accomplishes that. The internet, it connected the world of information and it improved every single one of our lives. So we now have the opportunity and the technology to do it again for people, but with money. So let's make money work for people. Thank you.